suggestions, advices, uh, doctoral advices, and other things we saw. Okay, so when uh, related to that, so we'll be seeing about the uh, today class about the uh, telehealth. Okay, so when you talk about the telemedicine, we know that uh, it's a um, uh, kind of um, all the uh, the protocols we'll be following. So we'll be considering the clinical application of technologies because we'll be taking the lot of uh, um, the test reports and all those. So uh, with that, we'll be performing the telemedicine. But uh, if you uh, consider the telehealth, it encompasses the uh, broader uh, consumer facing approach. Okay, so we'll be we'll be looking for the uh, kind of uh, uh, different services so um, so when you are looking for the uh, different services uh, we'll be adopting the uh, different methods collection of methods we can say so uh, not specific clinical uh, clinical services okay so here for the telehealth we'll be looking over the uh, to enhance the care delivery and uh, education point of view okay so uh, this telehealth also is one of the important um, uh, uh, with a method to have the information exchange. So when you are having the information exchange, definitely it can be work for the uh, enhanced care delivery and education. Okay, so here also uh, we'll be looking for some kind of um, services from the telehealth. Okay, so this American Telemedicine Associations also they consider as a uh, telemedicine and uh, telehealth is in the interchangeable because if, if, because based on the need based on the patient needs we will be looking okay so uh, which is which will be suitable here okay so now you need to understand very clearly if you are looking for the telemedicine it's a clinical applications but here when you look for the telehealth it's not specific to the clinical services okay but it can be um you uh, Interchange can be done with the telemedicine and telehealth based on the, the priority as well as based on the requirements. Okay, so uh, the WHO statement says then uh, 2007. Okay, so all the uh, healthcare services. Okay, so so it has to be delivered to the all the people. So uh, when you are looking for the uh, the, power, the rural remote locations and other things, so delivery of healthcare services is very very important. So, uh, when you want to deliver the uh, clinical services to the remote locations and all those things, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, distance is the critical factor. So, how we are going to overcome with that? So, when you are, uh, want to overcome with that, so we need to look for the kind of um, um, kind of uh, professionals. So, they will be working on that. So, this uh, professionals will be uh, looking about them. Uh, kind of uh, uh, facility to provide to the uh, provide to the remote locations and all those things uh, when you are looking for this kind of uh, uh, the facility to the remote locations and all those things so definitely you will be looking for the uh, exchange of informations then you will look for the uh, different communication uh, technologies for the exchange of the information and all those things. so so when you are looking for the uh, the to provide the facility to the remote locations and all those things so you will be looking for the information so that information should be the valid one okay so so uh, if you have the valid information then you can go for the proper diagnosis so that is the ultimate aim so to have the proper diagnosis um, uh, you need to have the information in the valid so you should use the very good um, sophisticated equipment and all those things then you will be looking for the uh, further uh, uh, considering for the uh, all the diagnosis for the treatment um, uh, sometimes it can be work for the um, uh, prevention of disease and the injuries and all those things because so you will be you will be giving the treatment it will be taken for the continuous monitoring and all those things okay so this all data that uh, information whatever you are taking so that can be used for the research purpose as well as them. further evaluations can be done in the future uh, times and other things okay so so this whatever the data you are collecting you are doing research and all those things this also can be used for the continuing education process and all this 
instance. Okay, so uh, for the uh, the uh, healthcare uh, professionals and other things. Okay, so this uh, all the um, protocols why we are following. So we need to we need to have ensure that they are getting us uh, the um, healthcare services. So all the individuals in the and the the in the their remote location. So this is the ultimate aim. So that is uh, uh, partially is achieved. Okay, so it's uh, keep on going. Okay, so we need to adapt the uh, further uh, advanced technologies on them. So the telehealth also it's um, uh, rapidly gaining the acceptance. Okay, so in the uh, the world, so we'll be um, we'll be focusing on the adding the advanced technologies to have the, uh, the evolution healthcare uh, uh, domains and others. okay so uh, when you look for the uh, this thing uh, the consumer so rise of consumers uh, direct uh, directed healthcare and as well as the, uh, they are shifting from the fee based care to quality and the outcome based care because when when the patient is expecting to uh, perform this kind of activities so they will be looking for the outcome based care okay so so uh, uh, immediately the patients will be consumer is nothing but the patients so the patients will be looking about the so they are comfortable so they have all the uh, the health care services and the wellness as well as the care management through this okay so then it will be uh, accepted by the large volume of people okay so uh, similarly uh, we need to think about the, uh, the telemedicine so how that can be uh, looking for the, um, the advancement of growing a variety of applications and services. So we need to use the two video systems, email, smartphones, wireless tools, and uh, other form of telecommunication technology we need to use. Okay. So you need to understand that when you want to perform, you definitely you need to have the two way video systems. So nowadays in the, uh, if you are using the, through the mobile networks and other things, uh, even the, all the smartphones itself comes with them. Uh, like a um, uh, two-way video calling process, so that will be easy to have the the uh, performance of um, uh, the uh, to adapt the telemedicine. So that, but how we are going to um, achieve with that? How we are going to enhance that? That is the um, conditions here. So we need to think on that. Okay. So uh, how the advanced technology is adapted. So when you talk about the uh, telemedicine usage. So it ranges from the synchronous video chat. So it can be done from the between the patient and the doctors. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, they may visit to the local hospitals, um, local nodal centers. So otherwise, the patient can be from the home to and the nodal center. So the patient can communicate with the doctors. So it can be used for the conferencing between the two doctors. Uh, the, say example already I told you. Like a nodal center to the referral centers. Sometimes it can be used for the conferencing between the doctors and allied health professionals. Because, say, example, one diabetic patient wants to consult the doctor. So the diabetic patient uh, will be uh, consulting with the doctor. The doctor will be consulting, they will be putting in the conference with the allied health professionals. So, like a nutrition and a nutrition and the so the um, uh, sometimes um, the uh, if they want to go for the physiotherapy, so they will be connecting with the therapist, or physical therapist. So uh, so you need to understand that. So here uh, the telemedicine usage, you don't think that only the patient to the doctor. So the doctor also can have with the allied health professionals. Similarly, uh, they can have like a kind of a. Uh, live video as well as uh, sometimes they can have like a uh, to create the awareness and all those things so about the diabetic uh, about the um, uh, diet chart and all those things they can record the video that presentations can be shared with the group of patients okay so this is also it's one of the important area if you look how the telemedicine is used with the entire um, um, and the Community, the community in the sense, uh, kind of customers in the sense, uh, we can say as it, patients, people, people also. Because if when you are looking for the awareness and all those things, that's uh, uh, people. So, so the particular regions and the person. 
So the similarly, we look for the telehealth. It's coming in 2014. So the Department of Health and Human Services. So uh, they can uh, sort to clarify the two terms in the post on health it okay so the telehealth is the different from the telemedicine because we have like a uh, broader scope of uh, remote healthcare services than the telemedicine because it reaches the people because we know that the telemedicine is the uh, clinical services and when you talk about the telehealth non-clinical non-specific to the uh, uh, okay so um, when you look for the telemedicines, definitely you will be looking for the kind of um, uh, kind of sophisticated uh, uh, devices and all those things for the remote clinical services. So when you when you look for the telehealth, uh, we know that it's uh, uh, the uh, non clinical services, so that can be provided for the uh, remote locations and all those. Things. So this can be used when you look for the non clinical services. Means it comes under the kind of training. So uh say example the doctor can connect with them connect with the uh the, the patients uh doctor can connect with the another doctor to have the kind of uh, training so kind of uh, meetings they can have the doctors association can have the meeting administrative meetings but a group of hospitals when they are connecting they can have the administrative meetings and uh, similarly they can have for the continuing uh, medical educations so um in addition to this they can have some kind of clinical services also but it's not very specific things okay so you need to understand in telemedicine uh, clinical services in when you talk about telehealth not clinical services okay so when you talk about the um, uh, telehealth further so which is um, used to connect uh, okay, uh, with the the different uh, remote locations and all those things so this uh, telehealth also can be uh, taken for the further uh, uh, categories so what is the M ml remote patient monitoring store and forward care live video so uh, when you understand this uh, four categories so the different process we are going to do here okay so um uh, say example already we saw in the store and forward care so whatever the uh, the patient is visiting so they will be uh, taking the test and store uh, they will be storing the information and they will be forwarding to the reference so you remember the last class we were discussing number okay so uh, when you talk about the in this way uh, we need to have the the ml as well as a remote patient monitoring as well as a live video so we'll be uh, we'll be uh, we'll be looking for the this um, related to this categories in the detailed way so when when the telehealth um, facility is provided uh, to the patients so they can have like a uh, kind of self-management and uh, caregivers because sometimes the elderly people uh, uh, people will be there so for them uh, you will be appointing as a caregiver so this caregiver will be supporting for the patients okay so uh, this facilities also can be used uh, the telehealth can be um, uh, can be used to discuss uh, to have the meeting with the caregivers okay so so the, when you are uh, interacting with the people um, so you can use with the synchronous interactions as well as a asynchronous uh, uh, interaction so that's a uh, store and forward transfers okay so um, and that's you can say as a the online uh, as well as offline okay so uh, yeah. whenever it's uh, needed it can be in the emergency situations and all those things they can have the online um, uh, the interactions uh, whenever it's uh, uh, um, not required they can go with offline so that means they can store the information they can forward then they can fix the appointment then that, that that's a meaning i'm saying so uh, when you use the telehealth so uh, they can have the after seeing the test results and all the things the doctor can uh, prescribe the medications so they can uh, medications to the previously unknown persons uh, who the doctor is never examined and others for uh, here uh, you need to understand that the more, um, uh, doctor should have, have the access to the 
all the medical re records but here no access to the medical records okay so on the uh, where the telemedicine differs from the telehealth okay so uh, when you talk about uh, this thing further so uh, whenever they want to have the concept uh, the um, uh, perform the telemedicine all the records will be transferred to them okay so um, but here so the no access to the medical records over doctors so but this is where the telemedicine and the telehealth is uh, different okay. okay so the similarly in the who in 2014 so the uh, they look for the surveillance health promotions and the public health functions because we need to uh, surveil one particular region about the disease management and other things they can use with this okay so telehealth uh, similarly they can have the uh, kind of uh, health promotions and all this. okay so in short we can say that all telemedicine is telehealth but not all telehealth is the telemedicine because already i told you very clearly so the telemedicine uh, we can consider as a telehealth because the clinical services we are doing but in telehealth we are not specific to the clinical services uh, that we can't consider as a telemedicine you understand so uh, uh, it's a very very important thing you need to so uh, when you look for the um, uh, telemedicine so we will be achieving the different cases so uh, multiple modalities and all those things so so telehealth uh, uses the cases uh, relevant modalities and in uh, investment requirements so you can see that the different modalities so use of cases so um, the uh, different modalities we know that uh, we'll be we'll be looking for the conferencing systems so uh, video conferencing systems we we'll look for the uh, synchronous as well as the uh, asynchronous methods we know that so when you look for the asynchronous methods so we'll look for the store and forward okay then the remote devices then telephone patient portal and mobile app so this all is the modality it comes with the unique features okay so we'll be looking for the uh, uh, kind of um, uh, the, uh, the uh, need uh, which cases we are going to use okay so when you when you when you are looking for the uh, different uh, cases so sometimes we can have the professional consultations diagnosis and treatments education and engagements ongoing monitoring and care coordination so, so with that you can see that for example if you are looking for the ongoing monitoring and care coordinations we can use the telephone remote device a sickness um, store and forward and video conferencing methods can be used for the ongoing if you are using for the diagnose and treatment only this video conference and asynchronous store and forward can be used here if you understand what i'm trying to say we can't go with the any uh, the telephone network uh, only the telephone network no video conferencing and, uh, because uh, when you are looking for the diagnosis and treatment you need to have the all the records so it has to be put forward to the doctor so uh, with that uh, when you look for the education as well as the engagement so you can look for the video conferencing systems remote devices then you have the patient portal and mobile app because you when you want to have the um, uh, record and video uh, can be shared through the app you can be shared okay so this is the different modalities different cases so how we are going to connect with them okay so that's very very important when you look for the at uh, each and every modality so what kind of facility we have okay so when you look for the uh, video conferencing so we have like a uh, uh, software requirement and uh, internet connectivity then the uh, kind of technology which is based uh, which has to be developed for, to use in the home as well as the hospital and all those okay so when you look for the asynchronous uh, store and forward so you needed the additional bandwidth um, uh, definitely uh, the space uh, storage space that's very very important when you look for the uh, store and forward methods even you are adapting okay so important um, uh, area we'll see okay then when you look for the remote devices definitely it will be expensive dedicated hardware such um, hardware uh, devices required so the investment will be huge okay so when you look for the telephone uh, uh, very very uh, very very normal one so it's a uh, um, but 
we need uh, the through the telephone when you are looking so you need to have the proper um, staffing on our basis okay so that is uh, on the important thing when you look for the uh, professional consultations on our basis. okay the portal so we need to have the all the informations will be uh, connecting with the portal okay so all the information will be shared in the portal so we need to have the high level of security okay so no data stealing and all those things so you need to have the high level of security so you need to have the more investment on that okay so this also integration has to be done better so similarly we have like a mobile app so th this can be used uh, with the minimal hardware uh, investment for the providers so you need to look for the storage as well as the security level of the because the, from the hackers and all those so the data should not be saved. So we know that um, few uh, the data whatever is storing, so that can be taken from the uh, from the uh, through the uh, through the some kind of links uh, the uh, all those things. So the uh, the security of the data is very very important. Okay, so this is the entire thing. So the different modalities, different cases, how you will be connecting with that okay so uh, this is what i want to give for the uh, telemedicine then if you look for the uh, uh, when you look for the technology um, how it's getting faster and uh, how it's uh, widespread we are uh, looking so the enables of growth in the telehealth so we have like a lot of advancement in technology and uh, plus increased population so this will give you with the uh, what all the uh, the raise in the tele health okay so um, uh, when you understand from the, the this is um, population is taken consultations then uh, it's given almost from the 2005 to 2011 you just imagine that the raise of the curve okay so it's almost the users is gone up okay so uh, you need to understand um, how this can be expanded more because we need to uh, have the more people into the telehealth process so that it can be um, reached to the people so the remote locations it can be reached with that. Okay. so when you are looking for the advanced technologies and all those things they will be uh, taking with them how this monitoring can be processed so we need the sophisticated devices we need to have the network connectivity whether we are looking for the cellular or fixed uh, line uh, uh, connectivity so uh, they will be enabling the uh, transfer of information data so sometimes they can use without computer also um, through the smartphones and so, so this all has to be considered so the memory is one of the uh, the criteria here when you look for the all the information to send okay so this is the uh, how the technology is faster with that uh, so this is the one of the example uh tell you the cases so how uh, they are working with that okay so uh cleveland uh, the one, one of the centers so they used okay. so you can look here okay so what kind of connectivity there so this is that to that uh, so, so they use only the uh, consultations, uh, pro professional consultation, diagnosis and treatment, education, and how they are connecting. If you understand the consultations, then how this can be taken. So the home telehealth uh, in um, uh, 2016, it's uh, almost it's a uh, uh, reach to the level. Okay, so it's uh, uh, the, how uh, the participation is increasing, but still we need to increase in that way. So this is the, uh, we taken the example. This is the example graph I'm taking. So how much the, uh, the increased populations we are taking with the, um, the telehealth process. This is the, one of the clinical video of telehealth. These are all kind of case studies, okay? You can do with the, any centers, any primary health centers with that. Okay, this is the example I'm showing here. Store and forward. Uh, this is also it's uh, almost it's increased to the 8500 so the you need to understand so how the uh, the patient is participating into the telehealth process if you count now it will be more number of uh, process 
so when you talk about the clinical video telehealth we have like a um, lot of uh, subdivisions we can say uh, starting from the nutrition so um, uh, kind of uh, nutrition is one of the important thing for the uh, the any patients so they can start with, uh, they can give tele nutrition uh, speech pathology physical therapy occupational therapy uh, blind rehab so nephro neuro all the departments can have the kind of a telehealth unit so this telehealth unit can be reached to the people okay so it can be reached to the uh, uh, kind of um, uh, non clinical services you understand so that is very very important. so this is a um, home telehealth module so that also can be made so this is a just example i am showing here so you can have like a connectivity between the mobile and the your unit so this module will be uh, the dedicated module so which is going to have the all the sophisticated software which is going to give you the information that so based on that so the patient will be uh, checking that yes or no um, um, uh, so you can give all the instructions so the um, say to check the uh, BP okay so uh, blood pressure so applies the cuff on your upper arm over the uh, basket yes or no if it, they uh, they kept exactly then they can click with the yes okay so like that instruction can be taken so when you when you are when you are looking for this kind of um, uh, information sharing with the patients so they will be little comfortable to have all the um, information from the home itself so that is the reason we are looking for the uh, telehealth uh, process uh, so this can be taken for the diabetes um, this can be taken for the several uh, diagnosis uh, this things, okay so this is the one um, when you talk about uh, uh, further so we can say as a telehealth is the uh, one of the important uh, the tool to have the, uh, the the patients in the comfortable so you when you are looking for the telehealth systems it's a it's a full potential we can say uh, when it, it can work with the, uh, the dominant way for the outpatient medicines because the outpatient opd is the one of the important thing so there will be the lot of crowd will be coming to that and the populations will be reaching to the opd so we need to we need to reduce that okay because of um, several uh, issues um, so the place and the, uh, the uh, number of um, and, um, uh, the space availability and all those things uh, lack of um, the equipments professionals and all those things okay so uh, this all you need to consider so when you are looking for the this things so you will be uh, you will be using the lot of devices and other things to enhance that okay so that's uh, that's a very important thing is you need to understand so where we can use the 